All right, so right now I have the Solus Ultra Scanner. This is uh, something that came out like 10 years ago, the scanner. But the newest scanner is Solus Edge, which is the same thing, just a smaller version of it. Bigger screen and smaller body. So it's going to be the same. All right, let's, let's attempt, attempt to diagnose E30. 87 to 93 E30. Let's check it out, man. If we can diagnose it with this. All right, so it only goes back to 92, which is fine. 1992 convertible is E30. So let's go there. All right, first option. Second option. Yes. All right, it's asking me what I want to do. Get into engine diagnostics or service, uh, clear the service light. I'm going to go into engine diagnostics, connect the BM1B round connector to the diagnostic port, which I did, yes. Communication. All right, we got in it. So we can uh, fully diagnose it from here. Let's check out the data. Engine is not on, but you can clear me. You can uh, uh, hear me uh, more clearly. Without engine noise, okay. Engine RPM is zero, obviously. The battery's voltage is 12.4. So those are the same ones that uh, legacy software can read. The older scanner. So you can read all this data, live data from the engine, and you can actually uh, use a graph for one of them. Let's say, let's go to our uh, engine RPM, or vehicle speed, uh, let's go to uh, engine RPM, one graph, alright, so we can read the graph, it's a zero, I'll start the engine and... It's slow though. But we can even read the graph, I mean uh, the data and graph in this uh, newer scanner. Are there any codes? No, there are no codes. Let's let's trip a code. Let's trip a code again. I'll disconnect the open uh, flow sensor. No, it died. I gotta start it again. Alright, we got the engine, uh, check engine light triggered, so let's read the codes again. Getting codes. Zero 07. Airflow sensor circuit. Can you believe that, guys? We can read the codes like an OBD2 on a uh, vehicle this old. Okay, connect it back on there, and let's clear the codes. Clear codes, yes. Clearing codes. We change the tune. Let's read the codes again. No codes. The reason why I changed the tune of the engine is because the engine went from a fixed value to actually reading the sensor. When you disconnect the sensor, the Matronic 1.3 will go to its fixed value, like a alpha n. It'll go to to, the, to its alpha n map and just go by the uh, temperature and uh, engine RPM. What else can we do? Functional tests, actuator tests. All right, so you can test the idle stabilizer, purge control solenoid, injector valves, odd cylinder, even cylinder O2 sensor heater kick down valve. I don't know what the kick down valve is. Yeah. Amazing. So this is the proof that modern diagnostic tools work on 87 to 93 BMW E30 3 Series. And I'm getting guys arguing with me that this is the only tool that works on these cars. This dinosaur right here. And that's not true, okay? You don't need this. You can actually read it with the modern diagnostic tools like Snap-on brand Solus Ultra or Edge 
or, or just a regular solos. Many, many people say you only can read the codes with, the, with this tool, which is not true. That's this. That's the diagnostic port right there. So what I'm using is Snap-on Solus Scanner. This is the older version from uh, early 2000s. It's cheap, you can get it on eBay for cheap, for sure. This is the adapter number. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and uh, scan the engine computer. I know it's really hard to see, but let's go to uh, down to legacy software, European, BMW, okay. I have to do it like this because the, the light is reflecting off the screen of this tool. Alright, so I'm going to choose uh, BMW, European, uh, no, it's uh, US, uh, USA left hand drive vehicle systems, yes, and then it's asking you what year. See, it goes all the way down to 88. I can choose the 88, it's not a problem. So I'm just gonna say yes, even though this is a 91 E30, same thing. Then look at the VIN number, fourth character of the VIN number. All right, it's telling me to, to connect it to the port right there. Yes. It'll take us 15 seconds, yes. In progress. All right, best way to continue. All right, we got it. We're in the diagnostic mode. So we got the codes and data. Let's go to codes and data. All right, we got it. It's right here. Engine speed, 680 RPM. All right, let's, let me increase the RPM. Alright, so it's, it's getting the data to the scanner. O2 sensor voltage, it even has the O2 sensor voltage, so it's changing. That's how you check your O2 sensor voltage. Let's go down. Alright, so we got the battery voltage, 14.1. We got a coolant thermos temperature. 75, what, Celsius? 76, it's warming up. Coolant sensor voltage. Intake air temperature, 19. That's this inside of here. That's how you can check that. I think that's wrong, that, that may be bad. For it to be 19, well, it, well, well, yeah, 19 Celsius. I think it's in Celsius, it's not in Fahrenheit. All right, 20, all right, so it's working. The air is warming up. 20 Celsius. Yeah. So we got the intake air temperature sensor voltage. We got the ignition advance. We can see, uh, we can check the timing with the light and see if it's corresponding correctly. All right, let, let me try to grab it up a little bit. All right, yeah, it's advancing. It's advancing to 23. It's good. It's working. All right, what else we got? We got... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Engine load milliseconds. All right, let's rev it up a little bit. All right, it's changing. Good. 3.6. Yeah, it went up to 3.6 when I loaded it up. Injection pulls milliseconds. Vehicle speed. You can check the speed sensor that's located in the differential with this tool. All right, what else we got? Idle air control pulse width. All right, what else we got? 
airflow voltage so you can check your airflow meter I don't know what the O2 integrator is percentage I guess it's adding it's adding fuel anti-theft device off on board, on board computer you can set it up to a anti-thefting and it should show up here it sends a voltage to the engine computer not to start the ignition to a cloak oil O2 sensor ready? yes it's warmed up mixture lean rich lean rich it means it's good it's working O2 sensor is doing his job Right. Idle load switch. That's the throttle switch. Let's see if I try to if I open it, it's gonna open. Good. It's working. It's working. That's how you can check your throttle switch. Full load switch. That's uh, uh, if I go full full throttle, it, sh it should close. But uh, uh, engine is idling, I don't want to do that, but that's how you check that. That's air conditioning switch is off. If I turn on the AC, that should come on. That's how you check if the engine is getting the signal from the switch. Clutch is off. Fuel cutoff valve, I don't know what that is. Catalyst is present, yes, it's a catalytic converter uh, model. Okay, is that all? Yeah, that's all. So what I did right now is I disconnected the airflow meter and I got the check engine on my E30 light. So let's see uh, what kind of code we have on our diagnostic tool. Alrighty, so we have the 07 airflow sensor circuit. That diagnostics that I did right now is on Matronic 1.3. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to plug in the computer from 1987. Matronic 1.1, 1 .1, 153 engine computer. That's this one. And see if I can get all the codes. They say that uh, this has less of uh, diagnostic support than, uh, than the later models. All right, I got it plugged in. I'm gonna try to use this uh, non-legacy software right now. All right, so 90, it only gives you an option to choose a 92. See? But still, 92 convertible is still 830. So right there, yes. Yes, yes. All right, they got it here. Let's see. Uh, actuator tests. Idle stabilizer, purge valve, injector valves. You can test that. O2 sensor heater. Wow. I didn't even know that the scanner can do. So you can even test components. Review ECU ID. Matronic 1.1. 153. Wow, even Matronic 1.1 works the same as 1.3. 